If I have one regret from 2000 to 2010 in regards to concert shirt purchases, and I should have more, but this would be my number one, would be getting this big ass Sonic Youth t-shirt. A band that I still love and consider my favorite band and what I have to show for it is this big old Sonic Nurse t-shirt with a hole in it. So lame, dude. So lame. 2007 Hot Topic presents Marilyn Manson and Slayer. This was my Marilyn Manson shirt. It sort of looks like my nipples are bleeding. It's up a little high, but if I got one size larger, which I was pretty susceptible to, I'd look like I'd had bleeding nipples. Um, look at just like... And then the you can't see, you can't read the back of the shirt, but those are all the tour dates. I had... I'm gonna blame my dad on this one. We always, wa like these shirts always faded so horribly and I think that it was my dad's fault on how he washed clothes because I didn't do laundry until I moved out of the house. Thank you, dad. Uh, but uh, but it still faded on my black t-shirts. I didn't mention that the Sonic Youth t-shirt was uh, a step away from black t-shirts, but in my mind, red was just as good as black. Um, but then, 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 I got this brown Silver Sun Pickups t-shirt, which I didn't like the Taking Back Sunday one. And now I got this one with a design coming up the shoulder and into the armpit. And again, if you don't get a shirt that fits you correctly with a design like that, what's going on? But yeah, Silver Sun Pickups, we're, start, we're sort of inching our way to high school graduation here. A um, couple more interesting ones to come. But this brown shirt is really gross. Brown. 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 Brown t-shirts. <laughs> what? So that brown t-shirt bugs me now and it bugged me then. So then in 2008, I went back to my old standby of an extra large black t-shirt from a Flogging Molly concert from the Green 17 tour. Um, I really don't remember that show either because I was in the crowd and unprepared for what that entails, um, except for the opening band which was the Reverend Peyton's Big Damn Band. My dad still references this band because he thought that they were so quirky and weird. I mean, honestly. Like, it goes, like, mid-thigh. This would be a very scandalous short dress for some. It could be for me. Flying Molly led me to Gogol Bordello. Um, actually, that's not true. Sonic Youth led me to looking into no wave music, which led me to a documentary called Kill Your Idols, which led me to a band called Gogol Bordello. And uh, that was my first time I crowd surfed, was at Gogol Bordello. Uh, and then I used Start Wearing Purple in one of my video classes in high school, and for a while it was one of my favorite things that I ever did. Cool. 